We are back now at 745 with a man who makes a living by wrestling alligators, recovering now after he was bitten during a recent show. Here's NBC's Kerry Sanders. It was lightning fast, yeah, wasn't it? Was lightning. Jeff Quattrochi is drinking Gatorade, and why wouldn't he? Still wiggle your fingers? Check. The veteran alligator wrestler. Still bend your elbow? Check. Knows this time he cheated one gator's best intentions to kill him. Watch this tourist video at a show on Sunday as the 45 year old, better known as the Swamp Master, made a momentary wrong move and the 8 foot 3 inch, 220 pound alligator attacked. What happened? You know, I was going into the catch part of the alligator show where I catch the eight foot alligator and I simply made a mistake. When the gator chomped down, Jeff's arm was trapped. An alligator's jaws exert 2,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. That's equal to having your arm pinned under a small pickup truck. Are you brave or are you just crazy? <laughs> well, you got to be three things to be a professional alligator wrestler. You got to be pretty big, pretty strong, and really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 36 staples, 23 stitches, but somehow the Swamp Master Jeff didn't panic and was able to get his arm free. That's not always the case. In just the last year, there's the man who lost several fingers and the teenager who lost his arm in gator encounters. Gator wrestling was popularized in Florida in the 1950s. Seminole and Miccosukee Indians set up roadside attractions to earn money. Two, three, lift. Today, the Seminole right. Reservation is where they shoot the reality show Swamp Men. If anybody that uh, says that they ain't scared is either an idiot or they're a liar, one or the other. For Jeff, who over the past 17 years has been nipped and bitten 12 other times, this was unlucky 13. Have you named him now? His name is Thank You. Thank you? Thank you. Because? Thank you for not tearing my arm off. <laughs> for today, Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Newport Ritchie, Florida.